WMAQ-TV, Chicago. Live on 5, from Chicago's News Center, Channel 5, the 10 o'clock news with Ron Majors and Linda Yu. Good evening. The danger is apparently over tonight in the area around the Calumet Container Corporation. And coming up in just a moment, a Monitor 5 report on a controversial children's vaccine banned in parts of Europe, but required for American school children. Nearly all of the school children in this country are required to get vaccinations against whooping cough. Of the past possible side effects of the vaccine and the risk of the diseases they're designed to prevent. Ron? Thank you, Barry. And still to come on the Channel 5 News tonight, Jim Tillman with a bit brighter outlook for this weekend's weather. Weather, a pretty day today, but the temperature not up to what we should expect this time of year. However, I understand, Jim, there is hope for the weekend. Oh, there's great hope for the weekend. We're moving in the right direction, at least. We've got the temperature going up. And it's going to continue to do that run for the next couple of three days. I think you'll be very pleased to see what our weekend's going to look like. First of all, the high today was only 53 degrees. We do, I suppose, have some reason to complain. Our normal high would have been 62. The present temperature is 39 degrees. The humidity 50, 55%. The barometer 30.36. And it has been rising rather steadily. Now let's take, take a look. First of all, this shows you what's going on at the moment. We do see a lot of clear sky here. Now there's only one area of concern, and that's across Iowa. They do have a few showers out there at this moment, but for the most part all of the Midwest and the upper Midwest is clear. We have some showers down to the south also across the southern portion of our nation. If we were to look at a, a radar picture we would see that we do have that cluster of activity down to the south going across Louisiana for yet another night. They've had plenty of rain there and here are just two areas of rainfall on our national summary of radars across Iowa. There is a possibility some of that could move towards Chicago but I'm really not putting it in the forecast because I don't think that's our major concern. The major concern will be frost warnings for all of Indiana for tonight and portions of northern Illinois. Do exercise caution for that. A few clouds tonight and cold, a low of 33 degrees, west winds at 5 miles an hour. For tomorrow, the winds will be more out of the west and will be uh, quite gentle. A high pressure will be moving in. That'll give us plenty of sunshine and a warming, a gradual warming starting tomorrow with sunny and warmer, a high of 55 degrees. And then for the weekend, look, for, look forward to more of that high pressure sunshine. And now we'll be on the back side of the high, getting that warm, moist air out of the south. And we'll have a cloud or two, but for the most part, it'll be sunny and warmer. Temperatures not only in the 60s, but right now I'm looking forward to temperatures near 70 by Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. So I think you've got to like this weekend a whole lot. Thank Realize you. Realize we've been moving in the right direction. We've just been moving too long. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds wonderful. And coming up next, a story about how honesty doesn't pay off for at least one man. And Ch Chet Kovic will have the Blackhawk highlights. Chet Kopik is here with all the sports, and it's another very close game so far for the Hawks. Yeah, I don't know what I'm smiling about. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of going south tonight, if you know what I mean. All right, good evening, everybody. There have got to be some long faces in the White Sox clubhouse tonight. Good luck, Mike. I hope you find another job. That's true. That is the news this Wednesday. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. The Tonight Show is next.